Hey everyone, I'm Pastor Andrea Paulson. I'm pastor at Holly Lutheran Church in Holly, Minnesota. We are an LCMC congregation. We're 150 years old, I think. And uh, I've been here about three years. I came at the beginning of the pandemic and we're in an amazing season at Holly Lutheran Church of really trusting what God is doing next. We understand that the church is changing. The message doesn't change, but the church is changing. And that means we have to think differently about how we reach people, how we serve people, and how we get the good news of the gospel into people's hearts and minds. I actually started at Holly Lutheran Church on April 5th of 2020. And so if you can pay attention to details, my first Sunday as the pastor of this church was right after Minnesota shut down with the pandemic. In the course of these three years, we've been on this journey, two and a half years, we've been on a journey of really thinking differently about church. Prior to my time here, there had been some challenges and some changes in leadership, an interim pastor, and then a pandemic. Um, so there's been a lot of things that we've been thinking about and re reconsidering and dreaming. Um, the words that we've been using the last couple years is church plant. How do you think differently? How do you think when you're a brand new church? And it became clear and evident that we didn't have the capacity to do excellent worship online. And so in asking for people's information and who was doing their uh, audio and visual and online worship experience set up, Calvary Network was introduced. And that's how we found uh, the network and the people that are behind it. And so in the six or seven months or so since we've been exploring the options for online worship, we learned about Calvary Network and, and kind of the heart and mission of, of equipping and working together. In the time since we found Calvary, we have really explored what it means to work together with curriculum and thinking differently outside of the box on worship. Uh, people from Calvary have come and led worship here. Webinars about all kinds of things, hospitality, um, greeting and, and worship and just thinking outside the box, the web presence, um, all of those things that um, are really going to be the direction of the church going forward. When I think about what I'm most excited about in Holly, it, it really comes down to a lyric from a worship song, um, which is give him praise for what he might do next. I think that our congregation and our community have no idea what God is going to do next in our ministry, but I believe that our obedience and our faithfulness to God over the last several years is going to prove fruitful in the years to come. And we can't even begin to imagine what God is doing and what God will do. And so we just continue to move forward, trusting Him. I think, as I think about Calvary Network, it's not just what they are offering to us, it's how we a dream and envision the future of the church. It's what it means to think differently about being the church uh, for a new generation, the next generation. And I think that's what makes me most excited is already in our six months working together, there's been so many great conversations and dialogue and dreaming and thinking outside the box, rethinking. Um, and, and it just m makes me look forward, it leads me to look forward with anticipation about what the network can be and will be and will grow into in the years to come. One of the questions is what advice or what word would I have for those of you who are in my position, in my seat, pastors or ministry leaders who've just continued to walk by faith in the last several years. And, and I think my word of encouraged, encouragement would be um, just keep walking. Um, the last couple of years have been really challenging and they've been challenging whether you're a lead pastor of a large staff or a solo pastor just plowing wherever you're at. <laughs> um, and, and I'm with you. I've been in ministry for 14 years and so I've been in this process of, of seeing how ministry has changed and, and seeing how culture has shifted and living in the muck of transitions. and. I encourage you to continue to um, seek out resources and find people and just casting that vision, just keep casting that vision and, and, and remembering that, that you've got it. God's giving you the vision, God's giving you the, um, the wisdom and um, it's hard work. It's hard work changing systems, it's hard work changing the way that we think about things and, and methods and programs and platforms and staff. Um, organizational structure, but it's our only option. <laughs> um, God's called us to leadership for such a time as this, and so you're here for a reason. Um, you're here on purpose for a purpose. Keep going.